Good morning, guys. It's Crystal from Clear Gardens. It is February the 15th. Um, this is my greenhouse. I prepped the best I could for the weather we had coming. Um, I know I haven't been on here. I've been taking some leave for some mental health. Um, but I wanted to come out here and show you guys, like, everything looks good right now. Um, I do see a couple things that are probably not going to make it. I'll show you guys right now. Um, I am at 40 degrees right now inside my greenhouse. Um, that one doesn't look like it's going to make it. Oh, there's still green on it. I think it'll be alright. I just need to water it a little more. Um, everything up there looks okay. Uh, my brain cactus, let me see. That looks okay too. Um, it's mostly my echeveria, or my, not even my echeveria, but some of my succulents, like, this one looks a little questionable, like it froze overnight. Um, this one for sure looks a little questionable. This one, and this one, and this one is really squishy. Um, I'm gonna let it be, see if it bounces back. Um, but other than that, everything looks pretty good. Um, some of the smaller, more tender varieties look a little questionable. But I think we made it, guys. I think we made it. Um, these guys look okay. And my agaves look great. I mean, these things are hardy as hell. Um... Looks like my strawberries are going to make it. And we are still at 19 degrees outside. 40 degrees in my greenhouse, guys. Yay! We made it. Um, I feel bad. Some of my friends from Facebook, their plants, they didn't have anywhere to put them. I wish they would have told me. I would have squeezed them in here. Um, it would have made things warmer, definitely. But, you know, next time, now we know. Um, there is ice on the inside from where the condensation froze overnight on the thing because it was foggy all day. Like, it's been foggy inside all day. So I'm just going to scrape some of this off to let some of the sunlight in so that we warm up. Um, I think the top cover helped a lot. My husband's tree is doing amazing, thankfully. Um, I, he wasn't as worried as I was about it, so I shoved him in here. He barely fits. Um, just gonna wipe down some of this ice, and I'll show you guys inside how my plants are doing on the inside. Be right back. Hi guys, this is what we're looking at right now on the inside. Sorry, my Raven's usually looks really sad. Um, my amaryllis, my Thanksgiving cactus. I bought this one yesterday. It's a marantha. Um, my little sprouts are doing good. Except for this one. I let it go dry too long. My siltipicana, she's beautiful with that new leaf coming in. Um, my, <coughs> my, um, Rabbit Foots Fern. I got new little stems coming out. She's doing great. Um, both of my, me and my friend Renee's um, pots of mandula are doing great that we bought yesterday. The strings of turtles are in my room. I am splitting those up to share with people. This is what the inside of my tank looks like. I think we survived. Um, for people that don't know, I live in a very old house. I don't have heating, like ducts in the house, so we we use space heaters. And last night I sacrificed the power to do space heaters in our bedroom. And in here, um, my sprouts are doing good. These need to get moved soon. Um, and these are the other ones. They're doing good as well. Look at them, all happy. I need to water these again. Um, 
but that's it guys um everybody survived we're doing good we were a little chilly last night but we had heated blankets and we were taken care of so um if anybody oh my beautiful manta she's beautiful i got a whole bunch of new leaves coming in like this thing just keeps growing like it won't stop i'll be able to propagate her hopefully in a few months oh i'm so excited well Bye, guys.